Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Watching Computer Edu 101, and once again, I am back with another tutorial. But in this video, I'm not going to talk any anything about Raspberry Pi. But this video is all about torrenting. Now, if you are one of those lucky people who uses a uh, internet connection, whose internet service provider provides high-speed peering in torrent files, you can actually use those trackers to upload your file and let your broadband users download those files at a high speed so that will give you a special edge towards becoming a content provider so I'm going to give you all the demo at first I'm going to show you what is a tracker and what is a peer and uh, often many people ask me this kind of question that um, if this tracker has the peer of my internet service provider then why am I not getting high speed in a torrent which has the same tracker well the reason is that the tracker which has been used which has the peer of your internet service provider when the file was uploaded to the tracker your internet service provider peer haven't been able to get the file so that's why your ISP peer is not providing that peer or they have limited that let's not just talk about let, let me show you a graphical uh, graphical thing okay let's go ahead and open paint now this is not going to be a very good uh, painting thing because I'm not a great painter but I can make you understand if this is a tracker then this tracker contains a lot of peers this tracker can be uh, considered as a group of many peers okay these are peers now when you're uploading a torrent file that you have created using this tracker what this tracker does is that this tracker commands these peers to download this file from you that's why it takes minimum 24 hours for each and every peers to download the file from you and that depends upon the kind of upload speed that you're getting from your computer from your internet service provider say you're getting a 40 kilobytes per second kind of uh, speed okay now 40 kilobytes per second you have to calculate how long it's gonna take to upload the file at a rate of 40 kilobytes per second and that's the kind of time that will take you to upload your file in each of these peers of this tracker now that's how you can make your torrent available at a high speed from your internet service provider local peering okay now what happens when you are downloading a file which has the same tracker but you do not get high speed is that the tracker has successfully uploaded the file in all the peers except the peers that is provided by your local internet service provider that's why you don't get a high speed download so tracker is an independent you can uh, you can provide a high speed download to your users by uploading the torrent to a tracker which has your internet service provider but not necessary every file that you download having the same tracker will be of high speed because that totally depends upon if the peer has been able to download your file or not if the peer has successfully downloaded your, your file then you'll be able to get that high speed downloads so that after being said let's uh, let's just go ahead and show you how to do that I'm going to use uTorrent you can use whatever client you uh, you want to but you'll just have to figure out how to do things first thing if you are uh, just like this one I am I am actually uh, peering this I the tracker that I have used have my local um, internet service provider uh, peer but at this moment as you can see I'm not uploading it to them it's actually getting uploaded to a different peer um, that's why if you're downloading this file you won't be able to get high speed if I let it get uploaded for 24 hours then hopefully the peer of my internet service provider will be able to download this thing and they will peer it uh, so let's go ahead and show you how to create your uh, torrent file with one of the trackers that you uh, that you can uh, do with it okay 
let's just clear everything okay what's the okay 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 go ahead okay now if you want to create a torrent file you'll have to add the file for which you want to create the torrent file suppose I want to create a torrent file of say this picture error.png I selected this and after that I'll have to post a link of the trackers which has the peer of my local internet service provider so I'm not going to put anything in here actually I have mentioned the tracker links in my uh, chat I'm not going to make this information available in public I'm strictly going to keep this private so you can uh, I I can provide this to you without any charges or anything I'm not asking for you anything but you'll have to approach me directly to get this information and I can only provide you the information if you're a city broadband users uh, I'm not sure about uh, other broadband users you'll have to, you'll just have to figure it out um, okay so and how you will figure it out you'll have to see which are the trackers that are mostly found uh, found in the torrents from which you get the high-speed download usually those are the trackers which have the peers of your internet service provider so I will just uh, provide those uh, tracker information over here and then create and then it will output a dot torrent file into the location where you have uh, mentioned for the output and then you can just uh, keep on seeding that uh, file for the next 24 hours and hopefully all the peers in the tracker downloads your file successfully and then you'll be able to all your friends will be able to get that high speed download that you're looking for that's how thing works at this present time I am actually working on that theory so I'm seeding my torrent and I'm going to take next 24 hours to make sure that the theory that I just told you is legitimate and it works if it doesn't work don't worry I'll provide you a heads up I am not going to mislead you with, in, with any kind of wrong information I am saying it myself that this is an experimental process which I'm doing so you'll, ha you'll just have to bear with me um, anyways guys hope this tutorial has been helpful for you to understand what torrent is and how it works uh, if you think this video is helpful don't forget to show your support by liking this video in the down uh, down below if you have any kind of questions you can post that in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.